David Fisdale wasn't out of work long. The Grizzlies fired him 19 games into his second season in Memphis, but the longtime assistant and twice champ in Miami is back on the bench in New York where the Knicks introduced him today as the franchise's sixth head coach in eight seasons. They talked about uh, the vision of, of defense, tough-minded, uh, sharing the ball, pace, um, culture, um, accountability. You know, those are just words. You know, a lot of people have them on their walls. I've even put some of those words on walls in places. You know, they all, they're very cliche in a lot of ways. But I really feel like through my experience that I've, uh, I've gotten to live a lot of these words and, and fail through these words and, and achieve high things with these words. And, uh, you know, I hope that I will be able to communicate that and share that with these group of men and, and really collaborate Again, I, I just think it's, it's, it takes so much to win in this league. And if, if one person is off in one way, it crumbles. And so, you know, for us to be here and all on the same page is really awesome for me. And uh, everybody reached out, uh, different people from the organization immediately when this happened. And it just showed me that there's something special about to take place right now. And I'm just happy to be a part of this deal. And, uh, again, thank you all for coming. And uh, I'm really proud. And excited to take on this challenge of being the new Knicks coach. The Knicks have gone five straight years without reaching the playoffs. Of course, you know this organization, some of this roster is still very well and the environment in New York. What's it going to take to translate those words into wins <laughs> and a trip back to the postseason in New York? I mean, it was so enjoyable to listen to David speak about how excited he is and how he's looking forward to being a part of something special. And that's what you always look forward to as a coach. I, I think taking those words and turning them into wins, actions, uh, really, I think, sh has started already. The Knicks were very purposeful and intentional about their search. Conversations with ownership, conversations with management. They were able to discuss their vision for what they expect from the coach the things they want to see, mm -hmm. the things they want him to hold players accountable to. Uh, and so in accepting the job, uh, he's chosen to say, hey, I can do those things. I can be the type of guy, type of coach that can come in and help you live that out. And that's the most important part is that alignment and vision so that the communication is flowing from top to bottom freely and everyone sharing ideas and collaboration like he spoke to. That's what helps turn it into wins. Great players obviously <laughs> help sure. a lot, uh, but you have to have uh, ownership, management, coaching, really seeing the game the same way in a lot of ways uh, and being in alignment. And it sounds like uh, the Knicks are now turning the page in that direction, and it's great to hear. Well, in terms of the roster, it starts with Kristaps Porzingis coming off the injury yes. or will be coming off the injury at some point. Uh, David Fisdale raved about him today in the press conference. What does a, a Knicks team that is headed back to the playoffs look like with Porzingis in the middle of things? Well, you have to surround your best players with shooters and also guys that are willing to play defense and sacrifice. And to bring that kind of culture in, Fizz has been part of a winning system, culture. And I had a chance to work with him when I was with Atlanta Hawks, and he was a fiery guy, really good at player development. So he understands all the different levels that it takes in order to win a championship. So as they went through their process and they brought him in, getting the second opportunity means he's going to do things this way. And I think the organization has to allow him to be a coach and to coach his players. And the players have to be receptive. They have to want to be coached. This culture now has to understand that it hasn't worked the way we've done it in the past. You guys have done it. So let's try something different. So I think he's going to bring some added juice, some excitement, and he's going to allow the players to be who they are. All right, you've got Porzingis coming off the uh, torn ACL on the left side. We'll see when he comes back and what David Fisdale can get out of him moving forward. As we told you earlier, the Hornets are reportedly dotting I's and crossing T's to make longtime Spurs assistant James Borrego the new head coach in Charlotte. The Hornets fired Steve Clifford after back-to-back 36-win -back seasons. Borrego served 30 games as the interim head coach in Orlando three seasons ago. Otherwise, he's been climbing the ladder as an assistant, mostly in San Antonio. Still four head coaching openings at the moment in Milwaukee, Detroit, Orlando, and right here in Atlanta. Coming up, the king sits and waits to see which opponent